Photolithography is the process of transferring geometric shapes on a mask to the surface of a semiconductor wafer. It uses light to transfer a geometric pattern from a photomax to a light sensitive chemical photoresist on the substrate. Photolithography is widely used in CMOS circuits. For example, in complex integrate circuits, a modern CMOS wafer will go through the photolithography cycle up to 50 times. In solar cells manufacturing, photolithography is extensively used during the process of building the solar cell contacts. The photolithography process is divided in several steps. First, it's necessary to clean the wafer surface from organic and inorganic contaminations. Then, and after heating the wafer and preparing its surface for a better stickness by chemical agents, the photoresist is applied. The process results in a thin layer with a thickness around 5 to 10 nanometers uniform distributed on the wafer surface thanks to a spin coating procedure. Once the photomass is aligned, the light must be applied. The ability to project a clear image of a small feature onto the wafer is limited by the wavelength of the light that it uses. Nowadays, photolithography tools use deep ultraviolet light from excimer lasers with wavelengths of 248 and 193 nanometers which allow minimum feature sizes down to 50 nanometers. The exposure to light causes a chemical change that allows some parts of the photoresist to be removed by a special solution called developer. Positive photoresist, the most common type, becomes soluble in the developer when exposed, with negative photoresist and exposed regions are soluble in the developer. A positive photoresist has been used to illustrate the photolithography process in this video. As soon as the photoresist is removed and the window of the surface is opened, the wafer is ready to the itching phase. The itching process is done by liquid, wet or plasma, dry, chemical agents which remove the uppermost layer of the substrate in the areas that are not protected by photoresist. Finally, once the photoresist is no longer needed, it must be removed from the substrate.